506, the rail yard dogs, the last two home games of the regular season are this weekend. New this morning, 10 News reporter Brittany Weir caught up with some of the players on what this season means to them and the community's impact on their success. Good morning, Brittany. Good morning. So, yeah, if you are looking for some ice hockey this weekend. Me? Uh, yeah, I don't know. You I two just guys. Bought a ticket. Yes, you guys are ready to go. Well, this weekend could be your last chance to see the rail yard dogs at the Berglund Center this season. And this uh, weekend, like I said, last chance, but the Railroad Yard Dogs face off against the Knoxville Ice Bears, and that's tonight and then also on Saturday. So this has been the Rail Yard Dogs' first season back since the pandemic. They went a total of 601 days without ice hockey, and that is why the players were so excited and thankful to get back on the ice. This season, the Rail Yard Dogs gave back to the community by distributing presents for over 300 angel trees during the holiday season. And then every couple of weeks, different players would visit local schools like Preston Park Elementary School and Garden City Elementary to talk with different students. It's been a blast being able to give back to this community. It's been so awesome to us. Uh, going to schools, reading to children. I think uh, I got to go play tag one day with, uh, at gym with some of the kids, so that was a blast. Uh, got to chop wood. It's just been awesome to uh, be able to give back to this community that's done so much for our team. And a community outreach is a big part of this team. That chopping wood that Brady was talking about, well, that was for the Agape Center in Manita. And this was part of the team's do good days. Other do good days involved walking dogs for Angels of Assisi's, packing food boxes for the local office of aging, and bringing teddy bears to the Vinton Boys and Girls Club. The players tell me, you know, giving back to the community is awesome and they love being a part of that. And this is why the week this weekend is the fan appreciation night. So coming up in the next half hour, I'll go over what they have planned and what what the team is hoping for as they head into the playoffs. Brittany Weir, 10 News, working for you.